I'm gonna make some bagels today. So in here I've now got the flour, that's homemade flour, and now I'm going to make a well in the middle. Let's see like this. Then here I've got now warm water, so it's lukewarm. So about so that you don't think it's hot, it's just about kind of warm. Half a teaspoon of honey and half a teaspoon of dried yeast. And I'm going to whisk that for a second. So now that's whisked. You can see it's become slightly puffy and everything is dissolved. That's important. So into the well in the middle of my flour, as you can see here. I'm now going to pour this mixture. which now looks like this. And now I'm going to stir this. Until it becomes like a mud-like consistency. And then I'm going to sprinkle on top some of the flour from the sides. That's just to make it easier to see if anything has actually happened. And then I'm going to just take a bit. I cover it and then I'm going to put it in a warm place. So either in the sun or when the sun is not shining, I usually I take a cherry stone pillow, put it in the microwave until it's hot, and then I put the bowl onto the cherry stone pillow and place a large blanket over it so that it's nice and warm, nice. <laughs> and now we've got to wait for about half an hour to an hour until something has happened and you can see cracks appear in the surface. So I'm going to add the first two teaspoons of salt. And here, you know, we want to make sure that you don't add it directly on top of the yeast because the salt tends to kill the yeast cells. So just sprinkle it around on the flour. Later it will mix and then it won't have such a direct impact. One and two. Right. Then we want to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Let's just do that. We want to add like a slight mixture. I here have sesame seeds, some dried oregano and some freshly chopped thyme. I'm going to add that as well. And then instead of adding an egg, because bagels usually contain egg, I'm going to add something that is like a fake egg. My mom actually made this herself, so it's ground corn and um, something in German called Johannes Brot can be. I'll look that up later and put it under the video for you so you know what it is. And I mix that with water. So for one egg it's here two tablespoons plus 40 grams of water. So I want two and a half eggs. So I want to put here three teaspoons. And then I'm going to add 60 grams of water. I always use a scale. My housemate Mary finds it confusing. <laughs> it's just all I do. Now it's just like a yellow sort of liquid. I'm going to add that now here. Okay, right. After about four minutes of kneading in the machine, you'll, I think you'll need longer if you knead it by hand. Depends on your kneading skills, of course. The dough should like this look like this and should be like in, in one piece and quite soft and moist. So it shouldn't be very hard, it should be quite soft. So even if you have kneaded it by machine, you should knead it afterwards to get a kind of tension on the outside of the dough. For that I always wet the surface because that stops it from sticking. 
You take it out. It's always important to have wet hands because that also does, keeps it from sticking to your hands. And then you knead it for a while. You can see that. And for that, you can see how I always turn it and fold it over the top. Like this. And then you will see how it forms into a ball. Like this. And then you have one smooth surface on the top. And I will now put that back into the bowl. Clean my hands and put the lid back on. And then I'll put it in a warm place and let it rest for another two to two and a half or three hours until it has about doubled in size. The dough has now risen for two hours in the sun and it now looks like this. And you can see that it's about twice the size. So we're now going to go on and form the bagels. Behind me I've set some water to boil because bagels usually are boiled before they are baked. So. First, we need to divide the dough into pieces. For that, I wet the surface again at my hands and I take the dough out of the bowl. You can use a card like this, which is made of plastic and it's round on one side and it's quite handy to scrape out the round bowls. So we don't really need to knead that before dividing it because it's going to be kneaded again anyway. So I just wet the scale and now I try to make pieces of 120 grams. Now I'm going to take each piece on a wet surface with wet hands and I'm going to knead it the same way as I did before with the whole dough. Turning it and folding it inwards to the top. Okay, so just a little bit, then I'm going to turn it over, like make sure it's nice and pinched together. I'm going to turn it over and then there's a technique where you place your hand over the ball and then you just roll it like this. You don't roll it like this, but you just turn your hand in circles. You don't actually do anything with the ball, but by the circular movement it will start to get more tension and the dough ends will kind of wander to the inside. Okay, what I do then is I make sure my fingers are wet and I pinch a hole through the middle, put the other finger in from the other side and I just widen the hole. until it looks like this. And I'll place it here and repeat the same with the other ones. I've now got cooking water here and now I'm going to put some honey in there for flavor. So this is two liters of water so I reckon it should be about two tablespoons of honey. This is what gives the bagel crust the sort of flavor. So I'll turn that down to a slight simmer. So with wet hands, I'm going to take, just for testing now one, and I'm dropping it in there. No, I'm not it just a little bit because it's very likely to stick to the bottom of the pot. Make sure it keeps simmering. Now I just poke it from time to time to make sure it's still floating freely. 
because I'm waiting for until it rises to the top of the water surface. And if it's stuck, it won't rise, now I just miss it. So now I'm going to show you. It is floating on the top. And now I'm going to flip it and leave it like that for another half a minute. And now I'm going to take it out and place it on the sheet. And now I'm going to repeat this with the other ones. Okay. So I've now cooked them all and actually managed to fit them all on the sheet, which was quite not the easiest thing. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds over them. Just pat them on a bit. And now also some salt. I'm using coarse salt from the salt grinder here. I'm just going to... Okay, and now I'm going to put them in the oven. And I reckon it will take about 15 minutes for them to turn really nice and brown. Then I'll show you. Now the moment of truth has come and I'm going to take them out. So. See, that's what they look like now. Make sure you see that. And I've got one thing to add at this point before I forget it or before anyone doesn't read the comments. Um, the next time I think I will flip the bagel bagels over while baking. So I'll bake them half the time from the top and bake them the other half the time bottom up. You could also sprinkle sesame seeds and salt on both sides then or you just turn them over again at the end. I just think that if you turn them over then the bottom will be crispy as well. That would be a fantastic addition. So keep that in mind.